So I have got to say that we are living in some crazy times, are we not? Uh, we're going to look at a picture. <laughs> I want you to enjoy this Brady Bunch tableau that we're going to review. So, to me, this group of nine folk is hilarious. And I don't know all the story. I'll be the first to say, I don't follow politics because most politicians are lying thieves. There might be three in office right now that really care about us. The rest, all they care about is getting elected and what their uh, people that are sending them money, those donation people want. So, but let's take a deep dive into the photo, shall we? Let's look at Ray Smith. Best mugshot of all of them. Let's be honest. Ray Smith's mugshot says, yeah, I did it. And I'll do it again. And I hope they burn in hell. And he's the only one of them that knows how to take a proper mug shot. Jenna, Jenna Ellis, you only smile in a mug shot if you're drunk. Everybody knows that. Oh, uh, David Sh uh, Sh Shapir, David Shapir and John Eastman. These look like the profile pictures they're going to put up on their tender. And Kenneth Chesbro on his grinder, if we're being honest. Kathy, Kathy Latham. Now she looks like she just got done smoking some cools and explaining to the officer in charge how she just witnessed a UFO landing. I'm not wrong. Scott Hall. Okay, after we get done with this investment stuff, I've got a nice three bedroom, two bath to show you in Germany. What do you say? Rudy. Oh my god, Rudy. Rudy. I'll get you me pretty and your little dog too. <laughs> I'm laughing about these Sydney. Uh, Sydney Powell. Come here, mama, and give baby a kiss. Come here and give grandma a kiss. Give me some sugars. She looks like she definitely has a Werther's in her pocket right now. And can that shirt go any lower? So these are people, I'm not even sure what they have to do with anything. Uh, it's the, the Georgia stuff that's going down. Did he falsify shit? Of course he did. The people that are standing up for Trump, I don't get it. He came out and said, yeah, yeah, I did that shit. Yeah, I called the riot. Yeah, I did this. He fucking admits this shit. And you people fucking still no, he's great. He's awesome. And don't say like, oh, you're a Democrat. I'm not a Democrat. I'm not a Republican. I'm a nothing. I vote for which one is less shitty, which is pretty much what we've been doing for the last 50 years, maybe. The, the entire time I've been alive. Honestly, I don't think we should have any 80-year-olds in office. Call me an ageist. I'm not a sexist. I, well, I'm totally a sexist. I'm not a racist. I'm not a homophobe. Kind of a sexist. Totally an ageist. There's no reason we need Paul Paul in the office telling us how we should be living our lives. We shouldn't. So Biden, Trump, both in their fucking 80s. You've got Mitch McConnell that's having a stroke on camera. I mean... This is who y'all are electing to run office. This is who you think are the best of the crop, right? You got fucking Old Man River on both sides. And you've got... Both of them are probably wearing diapers, let's be honest. I wear a diaper and I'm 50. I'm sure they're wearing diapers. You know there's been a lot of shit in the last eight years in that fucking White House that has had to been cleaned up. I, yeah, that wasn't cocaine. That was fucking baby powder. That's what that was cleaning their asses. That's what that was. Let's be honest, okay, shall we? Dude, stop electing fucking father time to be our damn leaders here. Think about your grandpa right now. Think about your pawpaw. Do you really want him making 
budget decisions and things that can affect generations from now? I fucking hope not. Because a lot of your pawpaws are still dropping the N-word like it's money out of the sky. Stop. Stop. Both sides. Stop. Quit fucking doing this awful dance that we've been doing forever. Trump is awful. Biden's awful. I don't think anyone can disagree with either side of those. So stop fucking voting for them. If Dolly Parton ran for office tomorrow, she can make up her entire platform. She can make up an entire party. She could call her the Unicorn Party. And if you don't vote for her, you get the fuck out of this country. Do you understand me? She's the most perfect person in the world. Puts those two ass clowns in the gutter. And pretty much 99.9% .9 of the politicians that are in office. And you know what? She's done more for humanity than any of them put together. Put them all together and she's done more. So, what I'm saying is, Jenna, stop smiling. Kenneth, good luck with Grinder. Kathy, UFOs, they're finally announcing it. Uh, Sydney, you go, Grandmama. And vote for Dolly 2024. Boom!